People love to ask me why I don't drink. And not just any people. White people love to ask me why I don't drink. And every time they ask me, I like to change my answer. It's for religious reasons, or it kind of smells like pee, or my personal favorite, uh, I'm allergic to alcohol. <laughs> and while some of these reasons may be true, the question never refuses to remind me of the white privilege in this nation. When they see alcohol, they see fun. When I see alcohol, I see cuffs. Maybe it's because of my friend, the only black person in a group of white students to be arrested at block party for underage drinking. Maybe it's because when thinking about underage drinking on the corner, I see Martise Johnson and I'm haunted by the sound of him screaming, I go to UVA, while the police repeatedly slams his head into the pavement. Maybe it's because I know that white voices will scream, well, she shouldn't have been drunk, or he's a criminal for drinking underage when justifying a police officer's actions of abusing, brutalizing, or murdering me. As an underage black person in America, I can't risk my already limited freedom on a solo cup. Living in the land of black codes, I try to avoid every reason to be seen as a criminal because they already see my blackness as threatening. They take shots of gin, we take shots of steel, the bullets draining our breath away and we try to justify our reason to live. They do rounds of beer, we do rounds in prison doing a life term on the installment plan through the ever revolving door. So no. I don't really get a choice in whether I want to drink or not. The system already made that choice for me, and even that might not be enough. <laughs>